Hello. In today's video, we're going to go through a surround view mat placement procedure. Let's go ahead and navigate down to that surround view mat placement. Once we're there, we'll go start calibration procedure with K4. Next, we'll go to the home position. Always follow the on-screen instructions and graphics to ensure that you're in the proper location. You'll know this because the targets will go green on the wheels. Once we have both targets on an axle, we can proceed. Your next button will go green as well. We'll choose K4 to continue. Ultimate 8S sensor tower will go ahead and rise to its maximum position. Again, reacquiring those wheel targets so that we have both targets on an axle. Once this happens, we're going to take 12 different floor height measurements around the vehicle. It may be necessary to move the sensor tower towards the vehicle or away from the vehicle to make these 12 measurements. And at times during the placement procedures, you also may need to move the sensor tower. And this is okay, it is normal. We're on five, seven, nine, and finally we will be at 12 of 12 and we'll be able to start the mat placement procedure. What we'll need for the mat placement procedure will be a barcode scanner that we can scan in the appropriate target. We see we'll start with target number 313. Once we have that placed, we'll shoot that barcode on the bottom of the target with our barcode scanner and it'll progress us around the vehicle, placing all the mats for the surround view. Let's go ahead and get started. To place the mats, simply follow the on-screen graphics and written instructions. In the rear, we're going to have two red dots, and we're going to simply line the red dot up with the circle and the parallel lines. Bring the mat into position. Once placement is achieved, skinning the barcode will advance the procedure. For our next placement, we'll simply be placing the green laser through the circle and the parallel lines, keeping the mat in line with the previously laid mat. Again, scanning the barcode on this will advance the procedure. Line up the next mat just as you did the first. Again, scan that barcode to advance the procedure. Moving through the procedure, the next placement will have a red laser. The red laser dot will line up with the circle, and then the green laser line will go through the parallel lines. Continuing with the right front placement, and scanning to advance. You may encounter situations where you need to move Ultimate 8S sensor tower. Here's a great example. As you can see, there is an interference here with the width of the front mat placement to sensor tower. Simply move the sensor tower back and allow it to reacquire targets. The remaining placements will mirror what we've already done in the rear and on the passenger side. Continue following the on-screen instructions and advancing by scanning the barcodes. Once all mat placements have been achieved, simply follow service instructions to complete the calibration, press finish, and send the results to HunterNet. 